Well, in Hattiesburg this summer, one camp is a win-win for campers and counselors. Campers get a chance for some hands-on learning. Future teachers get a chance to teach. 12 News' Dominique O'Neill takes us to camp at William Carey. Who's going to stop first? Me. Me. All right, listen. Messed up for safety, third, fourth, and fifth graders are spending part of this summer at college. William Carey University School of Education is hosting a STEM summer learning camp. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. It's hands-on. Campers build paper, airplane gliders, stop rockets, and learn computer coding. Today we are building towers, and I think it's very fun, and I think we're going to win. While these young students learn, some future educators are getting a chance to teach. They've got so many personalities. Um, you've got some that are really, really shy, and then you've got some that are super smart, and they want to put in on everything, which is awesome. And then you've got some that once they get in there and they start working, they, um, they really like to work together, and you can tell that they come together as a team and, and work. It's awesome watching them. It's been really fun. ASAP is just really fun doing the summer. We've had lots of fun here. We just... We're just happy to be at ASAP. Everybody say STEM camp. Ready? One, two, three. STEM camp organizers say it's heartwarming to see the kids learning and having fun. So seeing the kids here, the, the children, that's why we do what we do in the School of Education here at William Carey. So seeing them in real time, the excitement, the enthusiasm that they have, and the learning and the thinking that they're doing is wonderful. And getting to see our students not just in theory practice teaching, but to actually practice uh, teaching with our students here is amazing. William Carey School of Education is also hosting another camp called Extreme. That will take place on July 14th through the 15th from 9 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. Reporting in Hattiesburg, Dominique O'Neill, 12 News.